It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And there's no love lost between these NFC East foes. It's the Dallas Cowboys and the Philadelphia Eagles. All that and more coming up next. It's the NFL on EA Sports as you take a look there at Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, PA. Today, rivals square off in the NFC East, and we've got a great matchup between the Dallas Cowboys and the Philadelphia Eagles. Hi again, everyone. I'm Brandon Gordon. Welcome to the NFL on EA Sports. With me, as always, Charles Davis. And, Charles, we look at a matchup like this. It's really the running backs that may take center stage here today. And in today's football, they're still valuable, not just as runners, but guys who can catch the ball as well. It's really the number of touches that determines things these days. one started and off we go from Lincoln Financial Field and this will go as a touchback and they will begin things at the 25 Philly's offense getting ready and Jalen Hurts ready to lead them the second round pick who started his career at Alabama then finished with an electric senior season at Oklahoma tremendous production in college at two different universities and this is a guy who was a finalist for the Heisman Trophy Still much more of a runner than a thrower, but has plenty of arm and is capable of making the big throws downfield. And don't underestimate his ability to think the game. Remember, he's the son of a coach. They start on the ground here at Sanders. On any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking. And that's from the offensive lineman creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before, they always told his runners, Run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. A good gain on first. Has him set up with second and just a couple of inches now from the 29. They'll go again with Sanders. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Two yards good enough for first. Hurt sets up to throw it. Open man is Goddard, the tight end. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half to about the 39. From the 39, Hurts. He's going to sling this deep downfield. And that is intercepted on the sideline. Wait, no. They'll say no. It was caught out of bounds. So this is just an incompletion here. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. And that's exactly what defenses talk about. You've got to find ways to get off the field when you can, especially on third down. And third down defense going to be vital in this game. Able to knock that one away and force a fourth down. And a great job here. This is going to turn out to be a beauty. This is marked down at about the three-yard line. That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line, absolutely ideal. From that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, inside the five, superb. Now we'll see what the right arm of Dak Prescott has in store as the Dallas Cowboys offense sets up shop. So this is where we find out about the game plan and the trust factor, don't we? In this situation, the natural thing is take care of the ball. Run it inside. Everyone cover it. Just, you know, get yourself some room and let your punter punt it out of there. But when you've really got a QB you can trust, you might want to take a little shot early and try and create some space. Back near his goal line, it's Prescott. That is caught by Lamb. And he's brought down, but not before they get it across the 20-yard line. An excellent way to start the drive there, 18 yards. And they were backed up to start the drive, but not anymore. Now, that's the play call that the offensive coordinator had in his head. You saw the end result. He wanted to go ahead and push the ball downfield, and that's what they did. And they wound up with good yardage there to get things rolling. 
Now they can breathe a little easier, some room to operate as they've got it first and 10 now out past the 20. To throw is Prescott. His throw incomplete. Anytime he reads man coverage, I don't think it's going to be the only time he'll try to hit that route to the outside in this game. He'll test the perimeter, but that time, they will up to the challenge. From the 21, it's second and 10. Now Prescott. They're looking for Lamb, but it's intercepted. Darius Slay with a pick. And the Eagles are going to take possession of the football. That throw, Charles, over the middle of the field, and a few too many bodies in there got picked. That's a normal situation, too, isn't it? No matter how hard you try and spread the field sometimes, there's always going to be a traffic jam, it feels like, towards the middle. And if there's any type of a missed throw, or maybe the ball's tipped, or just too many bodies in the area, an interception can result. So back onto the field, here come the Eagles for their second drive. They'll have very good starting field position here after the turnover as they search for the first points of the ball game. Go! Go! They'll throw on first down with Hurts. And a dangerous throw there on the drop off. Incomplete, nearly intercepted. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Hurts going to keep it again. Pushes him over. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Jalen Hurts, 27 yards. And the Eagles take the early turnover and convert it into an opening touchdown. So a design run all the way, and he took it the distance. I don't know that anybody saw that come. Well, on this play, how about the vision of it? Being able to see the open field, make his move, and get there. Oftentimes, defenses have a spy for the quarterback position to try and take care of it. On that play, if they did, it certainly He's just lost. Work. Yeah, there's no <laughs> doubt. On for the extra point, Jake Elliott. He's got it, and the Eagles lead at 7-0. Well, that drive started with not a whole lot of real estate in front of them. And plus territory, excellent field position. Two plays later, pay dirt. After the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. Second drive forthcoming here for the Dallas Cowboys. They had the interception last time. It led to the opening touchdown. So now 7-0 the score as they start first and 10. shake off the interception he'll look to throw over the middle hauled in by lamb and he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34 and i think this is a route we'll see more of as this game goes on because with his speed they want to get him the ball in space on drag routes just like this they want him to get the ball and run after the catch good job there though holding him for a short game Maybe a good spot to take a shot. Here's second and a yard from the 34. Here's the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. Seven yards there and a first down. I know what you're thinking out there. I know a lot of you are thinking, take a shot downfield. It's a great spot for it. I'd say maybe later in the game, definitely in the second half. But right now, I think they were just trying to get some momentum built. Get a first down, pick it up, and keep moving. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Cowboys in possession as they've got it with a first and ten.
Play action now. Prescott. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And it's picked up by the Eagles. And he's into the end zone. It's a fumble return and an Eagle touchdown. And Charles, look at the big fella. What a rumble that was. Not only to scoop it, but then take it the rest of the way for the touchdown. And now you know they're going to have to hear about it from now on. The defensive backs, he's going to want to run with them, do their drills, the whole deal. He thinks he's the pace setter now. It doesn't matter what happens in practice this week. He's smiling. Elliott on for the extra point. And it's good to make it 14-0. The scoop and score, always an exciting play in football, and we witnessed it there, grabbing it off the ground and then rumbling it into the end zone for six. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. The Cowboys offense heading back out and ready to go again. And job one here, Charles, just keep possession of the football. Two drives, two turnovers to this point. You're exactly right, Doctor. Hippocratic oath, first do no harm. And right now they're harming themselves on offense. I like that. No one is mistaking me for a doctor, though. But thank you, Dr. Davis. Meanwhile, Dax throw pulled in by Lamb. Finding room at midfield. Loose inside the 30. And he's going to be ridden out of bounds down inside the 25. A big play there on the catch and run. 54 yards. Boy, C.D. Lamb so prolific at Oklahoma catching passes like this from Kyler Murray, and he's doing it at the NFL level too. Yeah, and this is what we mean when we talk about flipping the field, having your offense look at going a long way to a short way after he makes a play. His ability to do that evident able to make the catch there keep his momentum going and just continue downfield the first down carry by Elliott and he'll be taken down at the 20 after a gain of just one here's second and nine just a yard on that last run they go to Elliott again and he'll get this one down to about the 17. Only gets three yards there on the heels of the one-yard pickup. Sets up third and six. Prescott to throw it. And he's able to hook up with Michael. And oh, he coughed it up. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. We have seen this before, and we know coaches preach about this and work on it all the time. Catch the ball. You know there's going to be some traffic somewhere. They've got to put it away and secure it as they try and get downfield. The Eagles offense now, they head back on the field. They'll take over deep in their own end after the fumble recovery as they start first and 10. And now, as with every potential turnover, they're going to take a second look at this just to make sure. Now the question, was the knee in fact down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down and that will not be ruled a fumble. This is first and goal, and a golden chance to get a score back here before halftime. Now Elliott. And this will result in him losing yardage. Back to the three. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Out of the field, they'll stay committed to running the football, especially on the early downs. They just haven't had a whole lot of success just yet. So they're backed up to the three-yard line, second and goal. Here's Prescott. Under pressure now, and he's going to go down. Sack back around the eight. Kaiser White, the former safety, gets.
gets the sack. When you're this close to the goal line, you've got to expect pressure from the defense, so the ball's got to come out fast. Got to get out of his hands quicker. Six plays got him down here. This is play number seven, third and goal. Now, here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. Let's give this defense some credit now. They let the guys get downfield, but when push came to shove, they stood their ground. Now they'll likely force a field goal attempt. Marr able to put this one through, and they will get themselves on the board here at 14-3. So they get the three points, but they've now had three trips into the red zone, and that's all they've come away with. And in the NFL, the way they measure red zone efficiency and success, because you score touchdowns on those drives. That's first and foremost. Getting points, that's the second measurement. So by that measure, they haven't done very well. They've got to figure that out. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. Ready, ready. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. Ready. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. Now a throw right side taken in here to start this drive. And he'll be forced out of bounds all the way down at the 25-yard line. A big play there just before halftime. 47 yards. Able to hit on a big play right there in the two-minute drill. Now they've got a chance to use all the remaining clock and build on their lead right before halftime. On first and ten, it's Hurts. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. So now third and ten, a big play to start the drive, but nothing since. Shreds him with a stiff arm, and they'll get this down to the ten. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Everything's going right here in this first half, and they've got a good lead, and part of that can be attributed to their success on third downs. This is another conversion here, and they can look to really open things up now with this first and goal. They've got three tight ends here on first and goal to add some extra mass. They'll run with Sanders. And now a fumble. The ball's out. But I believe it was covered by an eagle. It was. And Philadelphia is going to hold on to the football. And we're going to get a timeout. With two seconds remaining in the second quarter. It's a second down run with Sanders. So we've come to halftime here in Philly with the Eagles on top. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, BG, thanks very much. And welcome one and all to our beautiful new downtown Orlando studios for this EA Sports Halftime Report. First, though, Let's get a check on the next-gen stats from that first half for the Cowboys. And they didn't get a whole lot accomplished through the air in those first two quarters of play. They'll need to up their game if they want to rally all the way back. 
Both these teams making their final halftime adjustments. We're just about ready to get back to football. So for the call of the second half, we get back up to Philadelphia and Brandon Gott. All right, Coach, thank you very much. As we welcome you back for quarter number three, it's the Cowboys who get the football first, and they trail here as well as we resume action in the third quarter. And no fireworks to start the half. This will be a touchback. The Cowboy offense set to go to begin this third quarter. As they begin their second half here, Charles offensively, you know, not where they want to be, obviously. They're losing in this ball game, but very much within striking distance. We'll see what adjustments they make in the second half. Is that the old glass half full, half empty type of a deal? Which way do you want to look at it? Because you're right, they're down on the scoreboard. But they're definitely opportunities now because if they want to go ahead and get going in this one, get back to the running game. I think there are going to be some places to go with it, and I think the offensive line will appreciate the chance to fire out and hit people. That's a good point because they virtually had nothing going in the ground game in that first half. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Looking to throw, Prescott. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Second and 10 now, third quarter action from Philadelphia, PA. Prescott. Got a man, it's Brown. And he'll be out of bounds up near the 45 at the 44. Five yards, now it's third and five. It's Lamb. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. Here's Brian Anger now as he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon. And it's out of bounds. Now we'll see what the side judge says. He says out at the eight-yard line. So well done there. And these punters, they get more specialized and better each and every year, don't they? They sure do. And now it's really not the American punters. It's the Australian punters with their kicking academies and that flat drop and just kind of kicking the nose of the football. They're able to almost stop it where they want to like a good golfer can check one up. Start by running the option to the right. And he'll be hit and dropped for a loss at the five-yard line. No big surprise, Micah Parsons doing what he does so well, dropping him for a loss. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness, he's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Hurd's going to keep it again. Uses the stiff arm. And they finally get him down, but not before he gets it up to the 46. A big time gain there on the keeper, using his legs to hurt him. First down. Well, when you've got a quarterback like this dead to rights, you got to make sure to wrap up. Instead, though, he breaks free and off he goes. Yeah, and this defense has had to share problems getting guys to the ground. And here's another example. They never should have allowed this play to gain as many yards as it did, but poor tackling early in the play led to big yardage after the fact. And you can see the distance traveled there after the initial contact on the next-gen stats. The big play has them all the way out near midfield for a first and 10. Hurts. Trying for Brown, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Trayvon Diggs. And the Cowboys are going to take possession of the football. So a potential momentum shifter there, working with a two-score lead third quarter. But that 
Not the smartest of throws. I would agree with you on that one because this game is still very much in the balance. It felt pretty one-sided to this point, but now if these guys can turn this turnover into points, things could start getting a little more interesting. Following the interception, here's Prescott. And that'll be off the mark, too far out in front, and it's incomplete. That was nice work there defensively to force incompletion. Now, even though this drive started in plus territory, they're still not in field goal range yet. So they can work towards another couple of stops and not allowing that turnover to hurt. And just a short gain that time as they're able to get him down. On third down, it's Prescott. He's got his man, it's Gallup. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. And they convert on third with a gain of 22. Before they can snap it, time runs out on this third quarter of play. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. And welcome back. We are in the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia. It's the Cowboys in possession of the football, but they trail here as we begin the fourth quarter of play. That's caught once again by Gallup. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. He's been a one-man wrecking crew these last couple of plays. This time, 18 more and a first down. Defensively here, you've got the cushion, but back-to-back -back pretty big pass plays there. Bend but don't break, but are they bending too much? I think that they are. To me, it'd be like playing basketball. You put up a token press. Make sure you get up there and make them eat up some time. Make it a little bit of resistance so they can't just run it right down your throat. Prescott now. And the Eagles are going to take over here up near the 40. Well, the field goals probably aren't going to cut it at this point. This was touchdown or bust, and unfortunately for them, it turned out to be bust. Yeah, they're feeling like they've got to force the issue here and maybe take some chances they wouldn't have earlier in the game. But give credit to this defense. They've really stood tall throughout and they come up with the interception in the end zone. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at the 39-yard line. Oh, he's got a little daylight! And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. They may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. And what do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage, use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind, it'll also stop the clock at the two-minute warning. Understand. Right back to Sanders on first down. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. And that's going to be caught for an Eagles touchdown. A.J. Brown, 44 yards. And the Eagles have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. Elliott now to have the extra point. And it's 21 to 3. Scoring summary. Three play drive. And it's capped off by an A.J. Brown touchdown. Now, after the 
touchdown. Here's Elliott on to kick it away. And there will not be a return here. It's a touchback, and it'll come out to the 25-yard line. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And the ball is knocked out. But I believe a Cowboy was there to get it. He was, and Dallas will maintain possession. And now before the ball changes hands, they're going to take a look at this just to make sure that they have it right. And the question, was the knee in fact down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of the football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. So the officials and the folks in New York got a second look at this one, and the call is going to be overturned. Meanwhile, Prescott's throw complete here to his receiver, Brown. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. Prescott on first down. Looking right sideline, but it's incomplete. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break. And you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Here's Prescott. He's going to let it fly. And this is caught inside the five. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And again, it's Prescott. And this is caught for a Cowboy touchdown. Ezekiel Elliott there to make the grab. And the Cowboys are finally into the end zone here in this fourth quarter. Extra point by Marr, up and good. And it makes the score 21-10. So two scores down, time definitely not an ally, but here comes the onside kick. And this is going to be recovered by the hand team. And that should just about put a camper on this one. They knew they needed a miracle. They had to have that onside kick. They didn't get it. Well, as we knew, even before they put the, the toe to the leather on that one, their chances of getting that done, slim and none. And I do believe we saw Slim just leave the door, didn't we? We did indeed. I think we're down to none. The Eagles offense now gets set to head back onto the field. And a few kneel downs should just about do it. Now, defensively, they do have all three timeouts, but very little reason to use them at this point. On first and 10, it's Sanders. We're down to the 41. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in the fourth. This, in all probability, another run here on second and eight. Another run here with Sanders. And he's going to be brought down at about the 33-yard line. Now a second timeout called for by the defense. That'll leave him with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. I see an extra defensive back on the field. A little surprise here on third and one. They'll try and run for it with Sanders. And he's going to have the first down yardage as he's down at about the 30-yard line. Hurts a handoff to Sanders. 
And he's got it down to the 28. Charles, why didn't they just take the knee there? You're asking the question that I'm asking as well because we've seen a lot of football where coaches decide maybe they get a little greedy. I don't know if they're doing it for stats or for what reason. We've seen it happen in college. How about in the NFL? The miracle of the Meadowlands. All they had to do was take a knee and the game was over. The Giants ran it one more time. Ball popped free. Philadelphia picks it up and wins the game. What year was that? 1978. I think it was in November. A yard in the wrong direction. Next third down tougher. Third down and nine. A lot more was on the line in this one than just defending your home field, CD. They defend their home field against a division rival and get the victory. So this one feels a little extra special. It has to, right? There's always just a little more emphasis on games like this. Everyone talks about playing each game the exact same way, but you and I both know that is not true. Division rivals, you want to take care of business, not just at home, but against a team that you really don't like very much, too.